Buongiorno, welcome back to my channel. Today is a comparison video. Today we are comparing Meliora from Parfum de Marie to Amethyst from Lalique, as well as a comparison between Amethyst and Gucci Guilty Absolute Parfum. I first tested Meliora a long time ago. I have a first impression on some of the most famous Parfum de Marie fragrances which I will leave linked up here if you want to watch it. A buying guide of the whole feminine Parfum de Marie fragrances is coming very soon, so definitely stay tuned. Anyway, uh, Meliora is one of my favorites. So I heard a lot in YouTube that there is a perfect dupe for it, and that is Amethyst from Lalique. So I decided to buy Amethyst to compare both of them and see if it's really a dupe or not. But since I had Amethyst, I also bought Gucci Guilty Absolute. And I have to say, there are also similarities between these two. So today is actually a comparison between all three of them. So I'm going to compare Meliora to Amethyst and Amethyst to Gucci Guilty Absolute Parfum. So if you want to know, is Amethyst a perfect tube for Meliora and how does it compare to Gucci Guilty Absolute, then please keep on watching. But before we start, if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. My name is Noura and on this channel I mostly talk about fragrances. So if you are a fragrance lover, then please consider subscribing and also to hit the notification bell so you will get notified when I upload a new video. Also follow me on Instagram where I post some exclusive content that I don't do here on YouTube. And without further ado, let's start. So Meliora from Parfum du Marly is considered a fruity floral, while Amethyst from Lalique is considered fruity floral but also woody. While Gucci Guilty Absolute is considered um, to me um, chibre, a rose patchouli combination with a very heavy woody undertone. So to be clear right from the start, Meliora and Amethyst are extremely similar, but it does not compare to Gucci Guilty Absolute. While Amethyst from La Ligue I can compare with Gucci Guilty Absolute. So I hope uh, this makes sense. Let's start by Meliora and Amethyst. And let me start by saying these are very, very, very similar. Both are fruity florals. As I said, uh, Amethyst has a little bit of a woody undertone that Meliora doesn't have. So if we compare the notes, we can find in both of them an overdose of berries, as you can see. It's definitely more on the amethyst side. Uh, and also they are both florals. So in both of them, we have the rose and the ylang ylang. And the base is where really the difference comes out between both of them. So both have the musk and the vanilla, but what really distinguishes um, Amethyst from Meliora is the added woody notes. And I would say also the added cassis in Meliora. So when you first spray Meliora, you will immediately get the cassis. And cassis has, to my nose, a very fresh, but also sharp, little bit green aspect to it. A lot of people have problem with cassis because it's to them it smells like cat piss. <laughs> I don't get it. I get on, only this sharp edge. So the opening here is berries with a fresh cassis. Amethyst, on the other hand, it's right from the start a uh, berry bomb. It's sweeter it's a little bit warmer. However, this opening fades away quite quickly and we are left with extremely similar fragrances. So a berry floral fragrance. I would say they have like 85% of similarities. So I would consider them dupes because they are very, very similar, especially in the dry down. As I said, the main difference between them is the slight sharpness and freshness that I find in Meliora, which remains, it's not so strong like in the opening, but it remains just a little bit, uh, even in the dry down, uh, especially if we compare it with Amethyst. While Amethyst gets 
a little bit more vanillic and the woody base really comes through when it comes to performance now is where we have big difference like really really big difference meliora has a very good performance like almost all parfum de marly fragrances i have to say they are they all perform extremely good uh, i wouldn't say this is beast mode but it has definitely more than a moderate longevity and sillage especially if you overspray while amethyst has kind of a weak longevity and sillage on my skin it remains for two hours and then it almost disappears and the projection i would say is between weak and moderate let's say if you overspray the other difference of course between them is the price tag on the marie is a niche brand and it comes with its price tag Lalique Amethyst is extremely cheap. This is the 100 ml and I paid, I think, 22 euros or something. However, I definitely prefer Meliora to Lalique Amethyst. I wish, like, if I had, like, the perfect perfume, I would take the Woody Notes in Amethyst and put it <laughs> in Meliora. But anyway, I like Meliora more, not only because of the performance, but because um, even with... The difference in price tag this one if i have to wear a meliora the whole day and i never actually wear a fragrance the whole day but let's say i want to wear meliora for the whole day i would reapply it maximum twice while lalique amethyst i will have to reapply and reapply so i think for money wise i would go with meliora uh, for the added performance uh, on the long run they are almost similar so yeah anyway i would go with this one but they are definitely extremely similar so if you like meliora and the price tag is an issue for you lalique amethyst is a perfect dupe for it interestingly lalique amethyst came out before meliora so this one came out in 2007 this came out in 2000 and both of them have the same perfumer. So Nathalie Lorson is the nose behind both of them. And that explains a lot for me. Usually I'm not the biggest fan of Nathalie Lorson uh, creations. It's a little bit too sweet, too fruity, um, girly, in general, generally speaking, of course. And actually also Alberto Morias, who is the nose behind Gucci Guilty Absolute. I think both of them are very famous with girly, uh, fun, flirtatious, um, definitely more sexy when it comes to Alberto Maria's fragrances. Now, let's go through Amethyst and Gucci, Gucci Guilty Absolute. When it comes to these two, uh, these are not dupes. They just share a lot of similarities. When I first sprayed a Gucci Guilty Absolute, I was immediately reminded a little bit of Lalique Amethyst. And in, in fact, when I went on Fragantica, I saw that a lot of people say the same. However, um, I would say they are like 60% uh, similar or maybe 55%. So not much. What they both have in common is the Blackberry and the rose and also the woody notes but definitely gucci guilty absolute has more of rose and woody notes so there is more berries here while here is more rose and also more of the woody notes and also patchouli this is a rose patchouli combination with a lot of woody undertone i love Gucci Guilty Absolute. It's now one of my favorite fragrances and one of my best discoveries actually uh, this year. It's really underrated in my opinion. It's a gorgeous fragrance. Now let's return to the comparison. This is more fun, uplifting, more girly fragrance, while this is definitely more mysterious, more mature. The rose here is kind of this almost gothic rose if you know what i mean it's really dark and sexy and mysterious 
I love it. I actually wore this one on Halloween this year. It's a stunning fragrance. As I said, the nose behind this one is Alberto Morillas. And when it comes to performance, uh, definitely Gucci Guilty Absolute. It's the best even when we when I compare it with Meliora. Gucci Guilty Absolute on my skin is just amazing. It remains the whole day. Just this whole day. Also has an amazing sillage. I love it. Uh, Performance-wise, scent-wise, this is a win for me and I love it. Amethyst, as I said, the performance is very weak on it. So to me, Gucci Guilty Absolute Parfum is like the older sister of like Amethyst, if that makes any sense. So this is a little bit of the younger sister that is a little bit fun and loves to go out. And this is the sexy older sister. From all three of them, this is my favorite, as I said. It's absolutely amazing. I love it. Anyway, overall, um, Meliora is a beautiful, fruity floral that is fun, uplifting, girly. Uh, not that it's not suitable for any age, by the way. It, it's not girly like in teenager kind of a way. Uh, it's just a very fun, uplifting fragrance that works for me all year round, um, especially in spring. Amazing performance, so I highly, highly recommend it. If the price tag is an issue for you then definitely go with Lalique Amethyst. This is again a fun uplifting fruity floral almost a perfect dupe of Meliora. The only issue is the performance but you can uh, reapply the fragrance during the day. Gucci Guilty Absolute is more of the mature sister so it's a little bit dark mysterious sexy more rose and patchouli, you definitely have to love woody notes and patchouli uh, to appreciate this fragrance. So that was it. That was my quick comparison between Meliora and Lalique Amethyst and uh, also between uh, Lalique Amethyst and Gucci Guilty Absolute Parfum. I hope you liked this video and you found it helpful and if you did please give it a thumb up and consider subscribing to my channel and please don't forget to hit the notification bell so you will get notified when I upload a new video. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time. Ciao!